Hey everyone, Techni here with a review on a newly released wireless gaming headset by Razer, the Kyra Pro. Is that how you say it? Kyra? That th that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with Kyra. But again, we have the Pro version here. It also comes in just a basic Kyra version. And we'll talk about what the differences are throughout it, but pretty much as far as base core headset, they're the exact same. Now, as far as in your box, you get your paperwork, quick start guide, your USB-C charging cable, and yes, you can charge these while you're using them. You get your detachable microphone with that included windscreen, nice big old windscreen right there. And then of course, you get your headset. Now, right out the box here, you can see on the headset, it's staying update your headset's firmware. And I think a lot of people are skipping this step with these newer headsets that are coming out, actually going back to the Arctic 9X. I've seen so many comments of people saying, oh, it's disconnecting, it's disconnecting, it's dropping sound, this, that, or the other, you know? It'll happen, you got the Turtle Beach 700s that do the same thing, they sync up with that single button to the Xbox right there. You also have the Bluetooth and stuff like that. But a lot of these newer headsets that sync up just like a controller, like your controller updates on the console. Most of it's set to auto, so you don't really see it happening, but your controller actually does updates just for the controller. So again, you wanna update your firmware for this. Again, it's gonna keep that nice connection going to your Xbox, or if you're using a dongle, jumping ahead a little bit there. But again, just make sure you update your headset for any of the wireless headsets you buy for, again, the new Xbox that's syncing up just like that. All right, so you all know where we need to start right, and that is gonna be comfort. But gosh darn it, I just can't. We have to start with the aesthetics of this headset. Now, the base design of the headset is sleek. It looks incredibly awesome. But for crying out loud, Razor, stop shoving the green down our throats. We understand it's your company's logo and your theme and everything like that, and heck, it being an Xbox headset, so sure, it does fit a little bit better into this right here, but for crying out loud, like every Logitech product's not blue, every you know, HyperX product isn't red, even though they have a lot out there, but still, we like, golly, this thing would have been so cool if it was all black. But anyways, as far as comfort, starting off with these ear cushions here, super stinking plush and cozy. Sports material out there, pleather line on the inside. What are these reminding you of? Arctic's ear cushions, right? You know that's a win. Very nice ear cushions here, of course. Again, that ugly stinking green around the edge. But as far as the ear cushions, big, wide, deep, very cozy. Going right up into the ever so ugly green headband, very soft and plush as well. Same sports material and very, very cozy top to bottom here. And that goes right into adjustability of this headset. Totally flat, laid on your chest, a little bit forward, ear cushions in and out right there. And you adjust by that standard arm right there and it holds its positions great. You put it right on a number you want and it does not budge. I absolutely love that. So again, mid game, you're taking it on and off. It's holding your position there. Now jumping right into the build here, as you can see, the majority of the headset is plastic minus your adjustable arm, which is metal reinforced there. And going right up into the headband here, which is all plastic as well, again, minus those supports. But whenever I pull the headset out and do my stress test, as you can see, it stretches out and then the cloth starts getting exposed right there. So are any of you gonna be stretching your headset this dramatically? No, but even if you pull it out to the size of your head right there, again, you can kind of see the headband getting exposed right there. Now, if I pull it real far out, Nothing happens to it, like it's not popping out, but I can feel the plastic in there that again kind of supports into the bracket. So I'm not sure if that's how it's meant to be designed as far as giving it that little leeway. It looks tacky when it stretches out, but again, I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be designed. So the all around build right here, it doesn't like, I don't get really worried about it. Again, I stretch it out right here and I'm like, oh shoot, these things are gonna crack. You know, that's not what I'm getting right here. What it does is maybe makes me just a little bit nervous. I'm seeing some parts exposed that I usually don't see exposed in headsets, you know what I mean? So, but again, heck, none of you are gonna be stretching them and twisting like that. That's what I'm here for. All right, so now jumping into features and functions on the Kyra Pro here. Now, this is where some of the differences are really gonna shine from the Kyra Pro and the regular Kyra headset. And I'll call them out as we go along these features. So dive into the backside of the right ear cup here. You have your pair button, pair it up just like you do a controller to your Xbox there or the USB dongle if you're on PC. Right below that, you have your chat to game volume wheel. Nice tactile steps in there, and it does get a, a tone in the headset if you get maxed out to game or maxed out to chat. Now, I wish there was a tone in the middle so I knew I was halfway, but unfortunately, we do not right there. Right below this, we have our Bluetooth pairing button. That is the biggest shining difference between the Kyra Pro and the regular Kyra here. Now, this Bluetooth pair button, of course, you pair up to Bluetooth device, but you use it as like some call features right there, answer, hang up, and then also track skip and selectors and stuff like that. So again, that's the biggest difference, Kyra Pro to Kyra, is this guy has Bluetooth. Swinging over to the backside of the left ear cup here, you have your mic mute and mic active switch. 
I love this. As you see me say, uh, switch right there, not button. Most headsets have a button. You accidentally press it or something like that. I love how this is a nice tactile switch and it holds its position. Right below that, we have our volume wheel. Again, nice tactile steps in there. Max it out or bring it all the way down. You do get that tone in your headset as well, but again, not that middle indicator. Then right below that, you have your power button. This is another difference on the Kyra Pro. Kyra Pro has RGB ear cups right here, and you can press this button to, again, get to your preset or cycle to a different automatically set, like a rainbow effect or something like that. Right below that, you have your USB-C charging cable, and then on the front, you have your detachable microphone slot. Now take a look right above that there. You see that little hole? That's actually another microphone if you just wanted to use it for like Bluetooth for a phone call or something. Now, no, you cannot use the uh, detachable microphone and that microphone at the same time, like talking to your buddies over here and then using this one to like talk to someone on the phone. That'd be a chaotic mess. Who are you talking to? Me? No, I'm talking to him. No, you're talking to her? No, I thought you were talking to me. But So anyways, right when you plug in the, the uh, detachable microphone, it disables that front little one right there and that one will be your primary. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump into sound on the Kyra Pros here. And this is gonna be the exact same for the regular Kyras as well. We pretty much got over the differences there, right? Now these guys are using 50 millimeter drivers, the Razer Triforce ones there with the frequency range of 20 to 20. So you might be listening to 20, 20, be like, eh, it's just gaming headset style, you know what I mean? But let me tell you what, if any of you watched my Black Shark uh, review, if not, definitely go check that one out, great headset. But it's using the same drivers right here. And let me tell you what, those drivers and the sound of this headset is absolutely fantastic. It is just a great sound, it really is. But the really great shining point of this is being on Xbox. Now this works on PC as well. You download the little app through Windows. But again, let's, let's focus on Xbox. Again, it's the same thing on PC here. But you can dive into your Xbox and actually dabble with all of your settings on this headset. Again, talking to that RGB we just mentioned right there. But the great thing is you can dive in there and dabble with your EQ. You can adjust all your EQs there. They got some presets, create your own. I created my own. If you get this headset, I highly recommend you copying my preset right here because it is awesome. It blows any of these other pre ones away. Again, that is, it, I highly recommend you just give it a shot, maybe tweak it from there because it sounds great right there. But as you can see in here, you can even tweak your mic in here. So again, that's so cool being able to dive into a console and have these options that you usually see on a PC. You know, is, that's a great big shining point here. So again, that really excited me, that app on there. I believe Astro did that before with some of their headsets, you know what I mean? But this is the first Razer headset I've used and actually uh, dabbled with that. And, and it's so awesome, because again, after I got my preset set in there, it was just, it was a whole new headset. It really was, because I was using my base presets, which again, you can cycle through back here with your pair button. I was like, yeah, it's, it's decent, I guess, you know what I mean? Got in there, dabbled with my uh, presets, my EQs, Wow, brought it to life. I'm talking, I've been playing a lot of Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the uh, Xbox right there. Great environment, very detailed. Uh, walking through pedal puddles, you get like that sloshy sound, right? Say if you're in a battle, you're swinging your uh, axe around and stuff, but you still hear the, his other weapons on his belt kind of clanking around and jangling around, you know what I mean? That was so cool. Again, getting that immersion where you get like the sound of the ground, sound of weapons clanking, and then still the sound of the battle if you catch me. And again, each thing really stood out. It wasn't like, okay, hey, this is drowning this out a little bit or whatever. It sounded so awesome. Again, very nice and immersive and very nice and detailed. Again, the bass stood out there. Great bass, right? And your highs were right here. Really, really nice. And you had your mids there. Nothing was overtaking each other. Again, like I stated, the bass presets, if you take this out the box, again, remember to update it. But if you just uh, mess around with the bass presets, it's kind of... It's okay, right? You know what I mean? So again, I highly recommend you, if you're on PC, and again, it's the same settings on PC, you uh, get in there and adjust the EQs. I, again, like I stated, I highly recommend you dabbling with mine right there, testing it out, and maybe tweaking it from there because it really brings this headset to life, and it sounds absolutely amazing. All right, so we are now using a microphone on the Razer Kyra. Again, the microphone is detachable, very nice and moldable, and it also comes with that macho included windscreen right there to break up some of those P's and T's. I really like it. Now, this microphone is pretty cool. Like, I got it halfway, about two inches from my mouth right now, and this is what it would sound like. Now, if I pull it closer, you can see it gets quite a bit louder. Pull it away, I'm about four or five inches away right now, and it gets quite lower. Usually, you start getting that distant sound. You still get that bass sound. It just gets quieter and lower, which is pretty cool right here. Let me pull it back to halfway. Um, now, as as far as the bass mic sound, I don't know if you guys hear it, but I hear like a slight 
kind of static or a little bit of noise in the background. Now I do have a ceiling fan running and my Xbox running. Um, I'm not really picking that up. I think it's just the mic I'm picking up a little bit of noise. I'm not too sure what that's about. All right, so now we are listening to the Bluetooth microphone on the Kyra Pro right here. And this is more like an earbud microphone, right? Earbuds you got on the back of your ear right there. You're talking forward. It's picking up your voice from the back right there. So I mean, let's not expect too much. It's really cool to have that feature on a headset. Again, we don't see that much, if ever, on gaming headsets, you know, so it's really cool if you're just on your phone, hanging out, you don't want this big, tacky microphone sticking out the front, you have that option. But again, it is distant, echoey, pretty much what you expect. Like, sounds like you're on speakerphone, you know what I mean? But it's very cool to have that feature right there. All right, so all in all, the Razer Kyra Pro, or heck, even the regular Razer. Let's go on and throw that in here as well, right? I think it's a fantastic headset. It's great sound. The mic is okay, as we just heard right there. The comfort is amazing. The comfort, it definitely gets the stinking cozy badge for sure, you know. Sound, absolutely amazing. The features on this headset are absolutely amazing, and I truly love it. Again, the Bluetooth, I love. You all know I need. If you don't need it, again, you got the regular Kyra. Don't even bother with the Kyra Pro if you don't need the Bluetooth. Save yourself 50 bucks. Me personally, with my ch my son in school, I need Bluetooth. Whenever I'm gaming, I still need to be able to have active to my phone, uh, you know, not just be totally focused on my game, which would happen to me, you know what I mean? And, and I miss an important call, you know? So again, Bluetooth feature, extra 50 bucks needed for me. If not, just spend 100 bucks and get the regular Kyra. But again, comfort, a plus sound, A plus features, A plus plus. I stink and love them. Again, having those features packed into the Xbox where you can adjust your EQ, you can adjust your microphone and the RGB if you care about that, you know what I mean? That stuff is incredibly awesome and I hope every headset, you know, kind of dives this direction. And as far as console, you get some of those features like we see on PC. That is a big selling point right there. Now, the biggest downfall, Personal preference, nitpicky, sure, because, I mean, I'm not going to see it when it's on my head. I just think they look ugly. Not the base design. The base design looks crisp. Like, if these things were all black, I think they would look so cool. But the green right here, and the other thing is, like, talking about the Kyra Pro compared to the Kyra, you can't really decipher, hey, this one's Pro, that one's not, unless you look at the Bluetooth button on the back or this little silver bar right here, you know what I mean? So, again, I wish the Kyra Pro was kind of like the Black Shark. The Black Shark? Pro, I guess, the whatever it was called, the higher end one was all black. Then you went to the lower ones, they started implementing a little bit of green. That's fine. Let's do that. But again, I wish Razor would stop shoving a green down our throats right here. But all in all, at 150, I stink and love this headset. And it gets a total recommend for me. I, I really like this for Xbox. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on a Razer Kyra Pro right here. I hope I answered some questions if you're looking at this headset. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. And I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.